Um, I have two questions actually. My first one, do you guys have any plans on taking this documentary to the middle school level and presenting it on a, you know, scholastic academic level just so kids who aren't or who parents don't, you know, read the paper and, or hear about these advertisements, they are able to experience this? Because I think my friend and I have our daughters here, they're 11 and 12, and it made a huge impact on them. And they, I saw them through the whole movie just nodding, going, yeah, yeah. And now they want to go. My second question is, how do we sign them up to go? Yeah. So. Oh, right. <laughs> yeah, in terms of, uh, in terms of, yeah, we definitely, you know, just getting it to the point that it's in theaters has been a tremendous amount of work. And uh, and actually, on that note, I just want to compliment you all for being on the on the cutting edge of the of the audience of Girls Rock by by you guys coming on opening weekends. The way that the film industry works is that uh, that what happens on opening weekend really determines how long and how wide the release the movie gets. So by each of you guys coming here today. You're probably giving, you know, between 20 and 100 other people, girls, men, women, uh, children, old people, an opportunity to see this movie. So, you know, I I thank you and congratulate you for your for your wisdom and good taste in, <laughs> in movies, um, and also encourage you to, you know, let people know if, they, if they're thinking about seeing the movie tomorrow night. Let them know it would be it would be really helpful to see it tonight. Yeah, rather, than, rather than waiting till Monday, because it really it makes a huge difference for how many people see the movie. But that's really not related to your question. <laughs> um, yeah, once the theatrical run is done, we're very interested in in figuring out ways to work with, you know, things like uh, the Girl Scouts have approached us and wanted to use it in some of their trainings for their for their staff. And you know, absolutely, we want to you know take advantage of that. There, there isn't actually any plan to, to go to middle schools, but, uh, but if you want to partner with us and, and help make that happen, we would, we would love it. That's so much of the way the whole film was made, is, you know, volunteerism and, I mean, and the whole camp is, is, you know, completely grassroots organized and, and you know, that's how, that's how the world changes is through everybody putting in that little bit that they can. And in terms of uh, as getting in touch with camp, that's the good one for us, yes. So we have a website, but if you use like a search engine like Google, and you, because I'm not going to tell you the address because you maybe won't remember, but if you just type in Girls Rock movie or camp or Portland Girls Camp, um, it'll come up. And our camps will probably fill up really quickly. They, they, they fill up in Portland real fast, but we are part of the Girls Rock Camp Alliance where there's a lot of other camps around the world. And there's one that's starting in the Bay Area this year. So if you can try for the Portland camp, it's first come, first serve. But um, so if you don't get into that one, these other camps that are in the Alliance are, are kind of based off of our curriculum and they would have a real similar experience. They would learn life skills development like self-defense or writing scenes or songwriting classes, all these different things. And then they would also have a showcase performance and it would be all all girls and all female mentors as 